This is CS61A lecture number two. What I wanted to show you quickly is a little bit about the course website. CS61A.org has an announcement section. I'm going to tell you the announcements right now. There's a lab out, lab zero. You're meant to complete it before next Thursday. But just get it done now so that you can get going with the course. Waitlisted students can attend normal lab sections next week. Wherever you're waitlisted, that's where you should go. If there are too many people in the room, it's okay. We have some overflow labs. I think it will all work out just fine. So please come to lab next week. And in fact, to give you a little bit of extra incentive, we're going to keep attendance at lab and discussion. Now this is not a required part of the course, but it is a good idea. It will give you a little bit of buffer or safety net for your midterm score. So if you do well on the midterm, it won't matter whether you went to lab or discussion. But if you have trouble, then you will get a few points back just for having participated in the course. Homework 1 will be released Friday and is due next Wednesday. Now in this class, all homework assignments are graded on effort. The way you show that you've made effort is to make some progress on every problem. If you actually solve the problems, that's even better, and you're guaranteed credit. If you don't solve the problems, you'll probably get credit anyway. But one of the course staff members is going to take a look to see if you made some progress. So if you pass the test that we give you, you're fine. If you don't, you're probably fine anyway. But please leave plenty of time for homework. The homework exercises in this course are not trivial. They're meant to really make sure that you're understanding the concepts and how they work together in the course. In order to make sure that you have ample support, we have office hours. And we also have a homework party in B6 Evans next Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now, office hours are available starting next week, Monday to Thursday from 11 to 6. On the course website, you'll see this office hours button which will load you a calendar. Now this week it's pretty sparse because class just got started, although there are a few office hours. But next week you'll see there are office hours just all the time. And it lists which teaching assistants are going to be hosting each of these office hours. There are no office hours during lecture. My office hours are right here in 781 Soda. All of the other office hours are in Evans B6. After you complete your homework, we're going to release a quiz. Now a quiz is like a homework, except for it's graded for correctness. And you have to complete it on your own, while homework can be completed with a partner and discussing with other people. The purpose of a quiz is to let you evaluate yourself. It's worth very few points in the long run, but just enough that you take it seriously. And that lets you check whether you're able to solve the problems you're supposed to be able to solve at that point in the course. Now, if you miss some questions on the quiz, it's not a big problem, but it is an indication to yourself that you should spend some time working on practice problems or reviewing the material. 